Today we're going to be playing some of the new Nilfgaard cards, and not all of them actually, but we'll get into that in a minute. We are going to be trying to make, well, ideally we want to use Abduction quite a bit, some interesting things we can do with that in this deck, and we're also going to be using the Toxicologist. The other two, for now, are in this deck. Uh, we are running, I would have liked to play Sandor, but we're running a Golden Necker deck, just because I was thinking we don't have enough tempo um, otherwise. I've, I've seen a lot of people trying this out, the Sandor version. But it just looked like they didn't have enough tempo around one, so we're going with a Golden Necker deck instead. And then the Contaminator we just didn't really have space for. But you can play him as well if you really want. Now into the actual deck. Like I said, it's a Golden Necker deck. I know some people really get mad whenever they say Golden Necker deck and then just dislike the video and comment that Golden Necker is bad or something. I'm sorry. <laughs> we, we think we need the tempo in the deck to play Golden Necker, but whatever. We are playing the Tactical Decision, the Color. Uh, you can play whatever you want here. There's a couple options, by the way. I'll get into them in a minute, but I think Caller's just pretty useful in general. So we have the Ring of Favor to secure round one, which we really want. We win, we want to win round one and then bleed round two. That's pretty much all Colgrim decks want to do, right? Here, playing the Golden Necker. We're playing Abduction. Abduction has some really good targets. The best one... Now, we aren't playing Sandor, like I said, because we're playing the Golden Necker deck, because we don't have the drone target. But uh, the Cynthia Golem is also a really nice target for this. It's a zero, and then it's a it's a zero provision, so you just play Abduction for 13. It's pretty good. It's like a decent tempo play. And whatever else you put in their deck. You can even put, like, um, I've done stuff like put the a second copy of um, Karanther Golden Child onto the opponent's deck. Or Aridin, stuff like that, and then you can play them. Uh, Golden Child is very interesting, by the way. Uh, in case you don't know, Abduction has some very strange interactions. Where, it, since you're playing the card from the opponent's deck, it can be very weird. Like, if you play a uh, Joachim or something from the opponent's deck, it'll take the top card of their deck, because I guess the game counts it as if being played by the opponent or something. It's, it's weird. It has some weird interactions. Uh, for example, Golden Child. Uh, maybe we'll put the clip of this in. But if you take Golden Child off the opponent's deck, it counts. It gets the boost that the opponent has done to you with the Frost, and then it's like a 20. So, I mean, the Abduction has some really weird interactions. Just keep that in mind um, when you're thinking about playing it. Now we have these Siri Nova, just for carryover. I really, I've always liked Siri Nova even before Golden Necker came out. They're playing Roach Nickers for thinning. We want to thin our deck as much as possible. We have the Fifion here for the Defender. You have Defender Colgrim. We are not playing the Letho Kingslayer because obviously we're playing Golden Necker. I don't know about the Letho Kingslayer version. I think it's just going all in on the Colgrim like that. I'm not the biggest fan. It's kind of why I don't like or don't mind the playing with Abduction. Right? Abduction gets you two less cards to the opponent's deck for your Colgrim. Which is why most people don't run it, but I don't really mind. Like if Colgrim's a 40, I see no difference if it's going to be a 40 or 42 or 44, right? The abduction value is just quite good. But we really want to be trying out abduction since it is new. You can swap this for Vilgaforts, for example. I think Vilgaforts is a really good substitution uh, in this spot if you want to. Because we don't really have a tall punish in the deck. So we just kind of have to outvalue them. But Vilgaforts would be a good swap for the abduction if you want to do that. It just it does the same thing, right? It pulls something out of the opponent's deck. So the Colgrim's not as big, just like Abduction does. But having the control is really nice. You guys just like putting an Invocation as well, but you want to thin your deck, and then you're making your deck bigger. So you can always put in a control card like that. It might probably is worth it. But uh, I wasn't going to go for it because we want to play the Abduction since it is new. They're playing the Gorthor. This is fantastic. Uh, you, you just give them, you clog their deck twice with it. It's really good. Yeah, it's just really good. It's our only location for the Golden Necker. So keep that in mind. You don't want to have this in your hand unless for some reason you're getting, you have to lay everything in your hand and you didn't draw your Golden Necker. I don't know. Then we have the Snowdrop. You go Snowdrop Leader. Nothing new there. Then we have the Dead Man's Tongue. Thinner deck a bit more. We are playing Asire. There's actually several uses for her, which is why she's quite interesting. You can Asire your... We do, I wouldn't do Golden Necker because we thin our deck so much and you don't have another location anyway, but technically you could do Golden Necker or something. Um, you... More likely, you're just going to use it on Roach. Or if for some reason, say that you Horax your Colgrim round one and then don't banish it, you can uh, put her back or put him back in your deck with a Sire. You can just clog their deck with a Sire too. So she has a lot of uses. Then we have the Cynthia. The Guardian on top of the opponent's deck is an abduction target pretty much all the time. And she just clogs their deck, so that's good. They're playing False Siri. I, I'm not sure who I saw doing this, but someone plays False Siri on me with this deck. And I thought, well, that's really smart. Because most people don't actually play tactics. Uh, you have to be careful with this because Skoytel does. Like, 
But if you play False Siri, it's disloyal, and then you put the Viper Witchers on it. Um, False Siri is really bad for most people, right? Like it might be the worst, one of the worst cards to clog them with. If they don't have tactics, it's a negative play because you're not gonna probably have it go all the way up to eight. So that's very interesting. And if you play Abduction on False Siri, she plays out as a five. You get a tactic, and then in three turns she comes back to you. So it's pretty worth it there too. So he's just a really good card to clog the opponent with, and I found Shaxx works pretty well. We are only playing one tactic for her though, which is the coded weapons. So you could play a tactic on a tactic if you want to. I found this is enough. The coded weapons. Just be careful if you're going to play with abduction. You have to have played both coded weapons. But since this deck, uh, we do, like go to zero cards round three. It shouldn't be a problem. Now I skipped over this. We are playing verification. This is just for the Drakenborg. You can't. We can't beat Drakenborg without a way to remove the Drakenborg. And we're playing Golden Necker, so it's verification. It's pretty simple. And then if they're not playing it, like I said, we have a very, very consistent deck. So you can just verification the Gorthor for 10 points as well. We have the Code of Weapons, the two Viper Witchers, two Mage Assassins, and two Adepts and Toxicologists. I thought about playing a Peller in here instead of one of these um, Adepts for the Purify, just in case they do... Because uh, some, sometimes, like Renfrey decks, for example, will Vilga Forge your Defender, and then they will just walk your Colgrim after a turn. And having a Peller be good for that. And also, the Drakenborg deck, they play Defender, right? So you play around it by, I guess I should explain this because Drakenborg is so popular and everyone hates it. I guess not everyone, but a lot of people hate it. Um, you win round one against Drakenborg because there's no, there's like no contest there. You just win round one. Then round two, you go until they play the Defender. Once they play the Defender, you pass because we can't go through Defender Drakenborg. But then they have to play Drakenborg without a Defender because they do not renew the Defender. I've not seen anyone do that yet. And then as soon as they play Drakenborg round three, you verification it and the game's over. So that's the plan against the Drakenborg deck. But yeah, I thought about playing a Pella here, because if they, for some reason, win round two without playing the Defender and Drakenborg, uh, we don't have a way to deal with it round three, but I, that's never happened to me. Anyway, that is the deck. Should be pretty interesting. Quite excited to show off the Abduction here, and uh, let's get into some games. Should be pretty fun. Rain. So this is a deck we Not are going to have a problem with, round one in particular. So we don't really have a 6 damage way to kill a Messenger of the Sea. That will be an issue, for sure. I think we might just... Hmm, how do we deal with that then? An interesting conundrum. It's very interesting. Let's go put her... No, we want to... We want to give him more of these. No Golden Necker, sad. No Mage Assassins, no Snowdrop, also sad. But we can do. We'll work with it. I'm work with it. Infusing this isn't the best thing. We want to infuse like a messenger or something. Let's start with the Cynthia, I guess. Yeah, this is not a great matchup. We don't have any control to remove Messenger of the Sea. Like, every Messenger of the Sea he plays gets to live. And I'm not sure how we deal with that at all. Gonna discard whatever we just gave him. Goodbye, Guardian. It's nice knowing you. Where's the Rio gone to? Like we just uh this is this might just be a matchup loss. I don't know how we beat this. Oh stupid keep more puke again. We we this is just gonna be a game where we have to rely on the clog, not letting him get his good cards. Because if he gets his good cards, I don't think there's a way we can beat it. Yeah, there's the messenger. We can't do anything about that. We just can't kill it. We'd have to double coated weapons it. That doesn't really help us. Because then he gets it again next round. I guess we just go for the double coated weapons. Hear my prayer. Fill me with strength. At least he won't be able to fray his blessing, right? This Ryogan's still scaring us, too. Put this next to his guys so we get an extra point unless he does something about it. I mean, the only good thing about Rain is it has, like, basically no tempo. 
There's the Melusine. It's good for him. That's just not good for him. This would have not come back to us. Let's see. If we play a card, can we do this in one card? We'd have to lead her. Let's play our Siri. That's going to be a problem. If we lose round one, we lose the game. That's how it works against these guys, right? Hopefully he doesn't pass here. Well, actually, if he passes and we play two cards, whatever. We just don't want to uh, lose the round. I mean, if he has no messenger, maybe they can do something. It's a lot of rain, though. Quite a lot of rain. I think we have to go for the uh, Ring of Favor here. Just boost her. If he had a Heat Wave, I think he would have used it on her already. There's nothing else in our deck really worth doing it on. And this way we can maybe carry her over as an 8. Yeah, you can't fray his blessings. We killed the messenger. That is a bronze. And it's non neutral because they changed the wording of everything. A roach died, right? Yeah, we can do a Sira Roach. I shall do as you command. Like, honestly, losing Colgrim here might be worth it just to have the Ryogan get messed up. Problem is, he has the giant Malusine, too. The only way to win this is off of him being clogged, by the way. There's no other way for us to win this. Let's go with one of these. We do take four. We could lead her. I think we lead her. My men know the meaning of sacrifice. I mean, won't complain about these draws, that's for sure. Oh my goodness, these draws. Um, we play Colgrim either way, because Golden Necker would play him. So then we'd keep the Golden Necker, because it's better. I would keep this for a tempo play, and put this back. We would play it either way. So we put this back. Hopefully that's enough. It, we're up by like 19, which is a lot. Very good. I think we have to all in him here this round because he doesn't have a messenger, he doesn't have Ryogun. So long rounds are gonna be really bad. We just need to deal with that. We've got Siri carryover and stuff. This should be possible. We would like to draw verification so we don't get it off of anything. We'd also like to draw Fifione. Okay, well, we'll keep it. That's good enough for me. Good enough for me. Let's play this. He has the Peller. Playing this earlier doesn't make a difference. It just gets purified either way. There's a Messenger. Maybe we could take one rain damage and we go to five. There's a 50 50 we kill that, plus a chance from whatever we get to our. It's a 50 50 we chill that, kill that with this. Of course, it's always verification. Oh, it's a 33. That's fine, too. Do this, do this. Banish you and you. Boost you. Play this. Whatever, we'll give him another one. We'll be in his deck, but we're just counting on this round winning anyway. Just get the two extra points on this. There's the verification. Do we want to save abduction? I don't... Uh, do we want to play it safe and save abduction? 
I guess he's Ryogan. Ryogan really opens up just the 2-0 potential, or the, the free round win potential, so we'll put the abduction back. There's the Kraken. All right, so here's what we do. We go Colgrim. I demand justice. And then we put the Ryogan into his deck so we can't trigger it. And I think that's the play. That should be the play. Can't bring him back. I mean, that's still really big, though, and he's got the messenger. Definitely playing the verification. I think we still have enough. Pretty sure we still have enough. Falmar, yeah, it's just Ryogan combo, just no Ryogan. GG, this all came down to that round one. We had to win it. Also, he played this round very slow. I guess he has to. It's rain. Looks like we're going up against White Frost. I think I talked about this in the deck editor. If we put a Golden Child on top of his deck, we could potentially do an insane play with it. Of course, if we do that and he plays the Golden Child, it's really bad. So it's like a situational thing, but we can potentially do it. I don't want that. I don't want that. One Mage Assassin. We don't have very much clogging in our hand right now, right? We've got one, two clogging. It's pretty bad. But it doesn't mean we're going to lose the game. It just means we don't want, we're not going to clog him very much this round. At least we have a Golden Necker. We just, if they win Golden Neckers, we can't play it until we draw our Colgrim. I think we just talk to college just that. Oh, if it's the Tyrannalia deck, we do have a verification somewhere, but it's not in our hand, which means it's, um, no, yeah, this might be verification stuff. Or not verification, you know what I mean. The Tyrannalia spam foglets thing. We don't have our answer right now. Goldenecker could draw it if we want to banish our coded weapons. So, like, we have the option to go into it if it looks like he's going to be doing that. But we don't want to without a reason. I haven't seen a Tyrannalia deck very much at all, though, so it might not be. Okay, maybe it is. Maybe it is. I think we need the Snowdrop here. Would really like to have that just in case that is the case. Do this too. Put them all in a run one row in case he plays Ardgaze. Okay, we can we can play Golden Necker now that we How many times are we gonna draw this by the way? Top of the deck, back in the deck, and uh let's see. We don't want to put a special back, so I guess put this back. Then we know Golden Necker is going to play those guys. Toad Prince, sure. Sure. Let's do the Golden Necker. He's playing a very high round one tempo deck. Oh well, we played our verification here. Let's really hope he wouldn't get it. What's better than a dead noble? Two dead nobles. He's playing Tyrannalia, we kind of lose now. But like I said, I haven't seen that in a long time, so it probably isn't anyway. He's wanting to get out of this round, basically.
the Frost deck is not the most consistent deck, so clogging it should actually be really good. Okay, he's gonna go for leader and stuff. Gonna get Aridin. Get Winter Queen. There's the Tyrnalia. So Winter Queen, she's gonna be worth 12, right? So we take four and it's worth 12. We don't have to win on even. Let's do this, put this back in his deck on top. Then let's go. He gets one point, two points a turn here. Can't kill Winter Queen is annoying. Could do our Dead Man's Tongue here. Yeah, we'll do the Dead Man's Tongue. We'll banish this because we've already done our leader, and then we'll banish probably this. Get our knickers out. We have um, Ring of Favor next turn if he keeps playing. If he is a Fogly, he could win the round, which would be quite bad. I'm going to play a Wild Hunt card. What is it going to be? Okay, there's the Aridin. He does not have Dominance, at least. Now he will, though. Now he will. Until we play this. And we should boost this because it has one armor. Now we have Dominance again. He does have the... Uh, the Destroy card. But if he does that, he can't destroy our Defender or Fulgrim. He gets 10 on Winter Queen. I think we have to pass here. I think we have to pass here. Subduction isn't enough. Man, even with all that, we still couldn't beat the monsters round one. The Frost. It's very unfortunate. This is what, like 2 and 2 or something? Kind of click on it. Let me take a look. Uh, let's see. Two and three. Okay. We played a coded weapons, right? We played a coded weapons. So that's fine to keep Siri. Speaking of Siri. Oh, good. Right. If we play this, it goes to his field, and that doesn't feel amazing. I do want to kill this. I guess actually going to his field isn't that bad. Because he's going to have frost and he can't interact with the frost on us. Because we don't have a unit. There's Golden Child. Now we do our Roach. Unfortunately, probably eh, one of them going different rows. Probably just Ard gates us here. We have to go this, 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 and this. This, this, this. That's enough frost for the whole round. If he's got Foglets, I think he wins. There's the movement. But he's got his only destroy card gone now. I think we do the Siri. If we play Siri. There's the movement. I mean, this isn't doing all that much for him. I'm guessing he passes here, because we still have to play Colgrim. Damn you all! Why would I kill a child? But in theory, he should just be drawing bad cards. Okay, we still have Abduction. Our Siri did carry over, so that's a little bit of something. Our last card is the Toxicologist. 
I think what we have is better. So we just go Cynthia. I like him. He has the evolving card potentially, but he's played most of his other big value cards already. So Nagle Far, so he's gonna get it. Ard Gaith. And then move us. Sure. I think we just play this. Your life is worth a great deal, my lord. Take comfort in that. Coded weapons that. It's going to come down to what we can abduct here and what his last card is. But he should be pretty well clogged. So we abduct here. We just take the Guardian because the most points. We just have to worry if this is a 10 or more. It shouldn't be. It should be a bronze. Yeah. It's going to be a GG. Despite him bleeding out our Colgrim, he was still clogged and we won the game. Looks like we found an enslaved player. I shall make great again. This will be interesting. Now, one thing to mention is we have to draw our Colgrim. If we don't draw our Colgrim, he's going to copy it with uh, Torres. And that's going to be really bad. You can, obviously, we can abduct it once he does that, but we don't have the abduction either. So, this is not going to be good. Hopefully he just doesn't do it. Yeah, we don't have our Colgrim. Not having Colgrim means Gold Necker is really bad. Oh, he went Yon way early. That's really weird. I'm not sure why you do that. Also, why does he have six twenty six cards in his deck? Wait. It's a 26 card deck, right? I didn't miss something. Oh my goodness, I was trying to click on this thing. I was trying to... Oh my goodness. Throw. I was trying to click on this thing in the match history. Uh, well, whatever. He gets a win, I guess. Deserved. Whatever, we'll just pretend like nothing happened. Dude, I was just trying to click on this thing at the bottom to see the match history, see if he does something underneath this. Apparently, that's where the uh, tactical decision was. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, do we want to do this? No, I think we just do this. We have two dead mage assassins now. We have to do the... Um, dead man's tongue on. The old sacrifices. The Let's do that. Let's do this. Let's not boost Siri. You know it would be kind of funny. We're honestly still ahead on even. It could be worse. Everything he has is so many points. I don't actually want to give him more of this because it lets him thin. I don't think we have a choice in it. Don't yell, my lady. He'll stay short. Help is not on the way. I mean, he did Yon Calwait super early. I don't know why you. I think you wait to Yon Calwait so you don't get clogged. My He's gonna clog us back. That's actually really good. It means we know we don't get Colgrim off of uh, Golden Necker, so we now can play this safely. That's actually really nice for us. You have another one of those. Your life was worth a great deal, my lord. Take comfort in that. He's not gonna have a location, so we go this next turn, put this in his deck, and then do this. If we can just remove the tactics from his graveyard, the series become less good. Our top card is a 9. 
Our top card's either Abduction or Colgrim. That's good to know. It's good to know. Let's give him uh, this back. Just play this. Never going to want to play it on him. Still have a Ring of Favor. We can just kill whatever this is with the coded weapons. That's a soldier, actually. That's really good. He got that for him. That is some top-notch RNG. It's RNG I expect from a Renfrey player. He's going to seize one of our guys. Sure. Uh, ring a favor this turn or not? I think we do it this turn. Here's Vilgefortz. We c he could Vilgefortz our Colgrim. That's the problem, right? We know that this is either a Colgrim or an Abduction on top of our deck. That is the problem. We're in favor here. The, the Colgrim... It's a 50-50. He might just kill our Colgrim here. Oh yeah, he's setting up for the Vilgefortz. So now we drop her. I really hope in the top card's abduction <laughs> and not a uh, Colgrim. Really hoping. Really hoping. Well, nothing else for it. Here comes the Vilgaforts. Oh, it's no Vilgaforts. Well, let's find out if it was abduction or not. We did win on even. It's really good. And we do have to watch out because he's going to be like Hefty Helga, you know, Hefty Helga stuff. But he's going to draw a bunch of bronzes because he played as Jan Kelweight so early. Oh, it was Colgrim. Thank goodness he didn't go for the play there or didn't have the Vilgaforts. Um, we go first. Do we go round two pressure? I think we do because his hand will just improve in round three. We'll put this back. Uh, how's that one? I mean, we really want abduction. I mean, this is a fine card to open with. You know, this, this. These should all be cards we put on top of his deck, by the way. Except the one card he capped. Which might be Stefan in that case. Sure. Do this. He's going to put weapons us now. He has to armor or do this. Yeah, so if he's going to play um, Viper Witcher, he has to go to this or this. And if he puts on this, we don't get, he doesn't get any bleeding value. He does have a Vilgefortz. So we have to remember that. There's the Torres. No Colgrim for him. We got plus 18, though. I demand justice. A trial by ordeal. And that's a GG. And that's how the deck's supposed to work. All right, Onslaught Pirates. We just played one of these, but I'm cut that game out because my mouse sensitivity is off. I figured out why we're misclicking. Like our mouse sensitivity is off. We've misclicked like three games to lose them all now. I just are. I must have hit the button on my mouse when I uh, the sensitivity button at some point. So I was misclicking cards, and cost us three games now. Not all during this recording, but I guess that's what's been going on. We fixed it. I wish I could disable this button, because I do this a lot. It's kind of annoying you're playing other stuff, too. It's like reach to grab a card in your hand. You didn't scroll over far enough. You grab the wrong one. Play it. Very annoying, but it's been fixed. It's been fixed. I wonder, have you guys ever done that? You just, like, hit the sensitivity button in your mouse. You start misclicking things. Whatever. We will move on. This matchup's really not great, by the way, because the magic compass and stuff is going to thin out all the stuff we put in on his deck. And then he has Unicorn Chironax, Golden Necker for tempo, and then he can create uh, more for a card of terror off of the magic compass if we let him thin his deck enough. So we really should not let him do that. There's the ship, and they have the uh, melee ship that instant kills Colgrim, which means we need a coded weapon saved for that. 
If I save, we can also just play it off a of Siri or something. How much catch it, Master? It sees me every time. As far as our hand, we have double Mage Assassin, but no Snowdrop. Really want the Snowdrop with the leader. It gives us six extra points, which is quite a bit. The Darren. No. <laughs> you don't always see Darren, but I think it's good. I'll discard another discard fodder. Must be nice. I just never draw these. I just never draw these, and I never draw the discard cards at the same time whenever I'm playing the um the discard package. I just I just don't like the discard package because every time I try and use it, it doesn't work. Every time I try and use it, it just doesn't work. Because I just don't draw them right. Thin our deck out. We don't have that many clog cards, honestly. Got gold, no, no golden necker either. We do have an 11 point, uh, 15 point leader, so that's something. But obviously, using it here is not the. Uh, like, it's not the most awesome play. Let's give them one of these. It's really good off of abduction. We might play this round. Another ship. We probably need to lead her, so we might as well do it here and see what we got to replace our mage assassins with. Then, no golden necker it is very annoying. Of these, I think we put back. We want this in our hands, we won't get it off the golden necker eventually. So, I think we. Is there any good things to target with this? Not really. And then let's play one of these. Counteract the vitality. Do you have Siri? Okay, he's gonna pass. This is the best case scenario for Siri. They just pass, and you get to drop Siri. Always nice when you get that. If we could draw our golden neck, it would be in a really nice spot. Obviously, we don't have to draw it. We also kind of would like our Colgrim, but we don't have to do it here. Got golden neck in there. We do want to redraw. How many bronzes do we have left, actually? One. Two. So if we draw a bronze, we can't double banish with uh, this. We put him back. Uh, I guess we keep this hand. I would like to draw the Golden Necker, though. Or Colgrim. Or Snowdrop. That's like half our deck. We'll put her back there around three tempo, I guess. Let's go Snowdrop here. No Golden Necker. It will grace us round three, apparently. Grace us round three. We only have the one bronze. We got those two bronzes. This might be worth keeping then to clog him with. I think we put this back. We're going to draw like our whole deck round three. So we put this back. Because we want to see it round three. And then we put this back as well. We're just going to bleed him. Just try and bleed him with every card in our hand. Because we're guaranteed to get every card out of our deck once we play the uh, Dead Man's Tongue round three. We just bleed him with our whole hand. Dead man's tongue looks like a good time to do that. Let's give it to the toxicologist. Get rid of the Viper Witcher. Who's this? The only thing for Golden Necker is we won't have a special if we play this. 
But we don't have to play this. We can use Siri if we need to do it. Hesho Mutton a sword. Okay. All right. I see it. I see it. Let's go here. Give another one of these Corsair guys. It's honestly probably a card he doesn't mind having in his deck, but what are you going to do? Let's see, do we want to play... Like, we'd rather have this and play Siri. So that's what we're going to do. Play Siri, and I think we'll just give him another Siri. We can abduction it if we feel like it. And it's a dead card for him, right? The only tactic he might have would be a decree. Stand before the Queen of okay, he's going to start discarding things. He went and discarded our Siri. That's annoying. Why would you do that, man? Uh, we could pass here on even. I like that plan. He has all this tempo stuff, right? But we didn't really interfere, but you can't do the that uh, can't talk. You can't do the uh magic compass create something. We need this to answer the ship. The question is if he just keeps both ships, the melee ship, the on create long ship. If he's playing both, we could have a problem. Well if he's playing two and he has both round three, we could have a problem. Because then we can't kill them both and we lose Colgram. It's gonna be annoying if that's the case. All right, we want to get our Golden Necker, which we're guaranteed to get. So we want this and this in our deck. We just get to play those. Should have abduction the last round. But I don't think, we, did we have abduction? If we had abduction, we should have done it. Uh, is there anything in here we want him to have in his deck? Kind of. We might want to go a Siri on Siri onto coded weapons to kill the long ship. So we don't have a coded weapons in our discard pile. Because we already played it back with Siri, so that won't work. Just do the Roach tempo thing. Or we could put something into our deck to play off Golden Necker. We're missing unit, right? Okay, that's what we'll do. We'll go here. Give a unit for our Golden Necker. Best unit for Golden Necker is probably. It's probably Siri. There's his Golden Necker. There's the long ship. Which we have to kill. If you have a second long ship, we lose the game, but it's what it is. It's just how it works with Colgrim. I was hoping he wasn't playing it. Colgrim's not even worth points anymore anyway, if we're being honest here. It doesn't matter that much. We can play our own. Play Siri. Kill the long ship. And then play this. Play this. If he has the second long ship, it's game over, but what are you going to do? It's the Guardian. Let's give him back Siri. Now we can abduction again. We can still abduction the second long ship. Right. Because we played the other coded weapons off of our guy. Good news is, though, do have good news is that he hasn't played another long ship. So this might still work. Honestly, if he plays long ship, we have to kill it, though. We lose so much tempo, we might as well just discard the Colgrim at that point, because he only gets one turn of boosting. Then we take a card out of his deck, too. A Unicorn Chironax. 
Nope, just this. We just play this now anyway. You Why would I kill a child? It's not going to be worth that many points. And we lose six by waiting a turn to play it anyway. Play this. Play this. Boop. 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 And nice easy draw. Not a good matchup. Not a good matchup. Let's see what we have this time. It's going to be a stockpile siege deck. The muta generator means that we are very... Well... You play pincer maneuver for muta generator, right? Because you always need it round one. Maybe that isn't this. But I was going to say, if there's muta generator, we have verification, thank goodness. This should not be Drakenborg, so we can use it on this. It, we can also use this on siege. We think it's a siege deck. Something good to have in our hand. Ooh, we didn't want, didn't want to draw that. Whatever. We can put it back with the leader. Really didn't want to draw that. It's the only location we have. Okay, Amphibious Assault into... Are we playing some kind of Witcher deck, or what's going on here? This is a melee, right? He's got the other effect. Pretty sure we just start with this. Amphibious Assault... Yeah, it's going to be a siege deck. I pass on Giving him these is bad for us. Not for him. Let's give him one of these guys. There's King Radovid, which we can't kill. We can't let him last say the Hensolt stuff. We have to bleed him round two. That doesn't have its adrenaline yet. Guess we, well, if we play Siri, she's going to take damage and die, though. I wish we didn't have this. I think the best play is Siri. She's going to lose her value, but we don't, like, these are all just terrible plays. Okay, we got boiling oil. It happens. Hubert came out. Man, this guy's uh, really doing a lot of thinning. Now we lead her. Hope we draw Mage Assassin. If you don't draw both Mage Assassins, it's not that bad because you can always banish it with uh, the um, what's it called? Don't want to draw this here. With the uh, dead man's tongue. And then what do we want to put in his deck? I mean, I think we just give him more of these. Help is not on the way. We don't get the bleeding, but I mean, don't get the bleeding on that either. We should remove that so he doesn't get it going. It's not great removing it because now he's another copy of it. But it's going to give him too much engine value this round. We need to win this round. And we can just play it with this, which is what we're going to do. Just abduct it. Got one soldier. We could be Fiona, but we're not going to. A lot of damage in the bombardment. Still a ring of favor.
What's better than a dead noble? Two dead nobles. We bring a favor next turn, because we can't play verification. And uh, we don't want to play Fifion. Maybe we should have kept Gorthor, even though it hurts the Siri or the Golden Necker. Okay, good. We do get the win on even. That's what we wanted. I thought the... Um, what's it called? Would be enough to bring a favor. Now we can Verification Siege, and that should really help out. We need to bleed it out anyway, though. Now we're drawing Gorthor. Yeah. And then... This is interesting. As a hand. Like, we want to get Golden Necker. We have a Snowdrop still, too. Okay, we're good now. We have a special left, right? Yeah, special. Do with the watch out. We could play Colgrim off the Golden Necker, so we don't want to play it first. So we'll just start off with the very standard Asura into Roach. We just need him to siege, then we verification it, or we can just pass after he sieges. Okay, there's the siege. Verification that, we, and we're happy. Gonna go for tempo here. Three leader charges. I will not complain. Very happy with that. Then we just remove this. And now we're even happier. I think we play abduction into Golden Necker. No! That is a, a fly landed in your cup, my lady. Allow me. Let's go abduction. Play this. It's worth more than the other guy, even though the other guy would is actually a card you might consider not being mad about drawing. So I think we just Golden Necker. If we get Colgrim, we get Colgrim. We didn't get him. Do this. Give him another one of these. Play this. Give him another one of these, which I'm sure he wants. The Amphibious Assault. The Hensel's not too scary anymore. Yeah, the Hensel's not too scary anymore with just the one leader charge. Unless the game just doesn't give us our Colgrim. Okay, we got a Snowdrop. Should get him. Oh my goodness. Well, at least we're going to get him. It's just going to take us a lot of hoops. A lot of hoops. This is very awkward, actually. Do you want to play him when we've got three cards? Well, he's got when we have two cards left. So we need to try and set up, set it up right now. We have the Dead Man's Tongue before we do it. I think we just have to go into Fifion right now. Yeah, I think we should still go into Fifion right now. We can go Dead Man's Tongue next turn, then Snowdrop, then finish with the Colgrim. It's not going to be very good. In one piece, fight for it. We might just have to. Ch hmm. I don't know if we have enough points. Like, it's a 70% chance we draw it off a of Snowdrop. We might, because this is going to give him too many, too much value if we are slow. I 
I think we need to go for it here. I don't think we have enough points if we just do Dead Man's Tongue first. I mean, that was a really big risk, but we don't have enough points if we only have a one-turn Colgrim. We probably don't have enough points as it is anyway, for being honest. This is Amphibious Assault, right? Oh no, it's this. That's fine. Dead man's tongue. Don't think we have enough. Oh, we do have enough just by one. Yeah, we needed to do that risk with the snowdrop. Alright, we have success, guys. We found a non onslaught player. I'm gonna have to cut a whole bunch of games out of this because it's the only thing on the ladder, apparently. And it's a really, really bad matchup because the Colgrim doesn't do anything. So that's a problem. But hopefully we can end on at least a deck that isn't that. Open with like Cynthia into something else. Let's see what we can do here. I don't think you yawn cal wait. I think you wait to yawn cal wait because now um, you can't reset the deck after we play all of our stuff. Please play this. We don't want to give him another one because it'll let him reorganize all the stuff we clogged. I'm just not going to play a unit, I see. I see. Let's put these two back in. We're gonna draw them later anyway. You better to bleed with something else round two. This back, this back, and I guess we put you back. We're gonna play Siri next. He's gonna seize the Siri, but we should play it next anyway. Is this Vilgaforts? Oh, if we Vilgaforts is, we should uh, get the Siri, right? That gives us a point each turn at least. Put that on top last so to protect the Colgrim from it. Oh, no, so, oh, we should. Now he's got a Colgrim. Right? He spied the Colgrim. Oh, he didn't pick Colgrim. That's weird. Why wouldn't he pick the Colgrim? I guess because we could abduct it. But does he know we have abduct? Probably does. We can't clog him with these cards, which is very annoying. I guess there's nothing else for us to do now except do this. It's not great, because he gets to reorganize his deck. But at least his hand for round two will be messed up, at least. We can't just not play anything. We don't want to play Abduct, then. Mm, that messes up our Siri if he banishes that. But it's better than nothing, I guess. There's the Vilga Forts. This should be the Siri. Oh, this guy, I guess. Why is he on top? I must have forgotten what we put on top. It's weird. I mean, there's no point to not playing Ring of Favor. So we're gonna he's gonna pass this turn. 
Now we get our um, two guys back. Oh, we shuffled those two in. That's right. We shuffled those two in. The Fifion and the um, Colgrim with Snowdrop. And then we put these guys on top. So we get our Siri. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what we did. For some reason, I forgot about that. Okay, so if we play the Golden Necker, we get a unit, Gorther, and then one of these. Really like to have verification. It, the verification is in here just for Drakenborg, and it seems like they all just disappeared. We have the weapon, right? Yeah. They all just disappeared. So, not sure what's up with that. How much Sees me every time. He has another Yannick I'll wait here to fix his deck. Actually, it's two more. But, so is that Seize as well. Ah, yes. Everyone knew this was coming. Not putting on this is weird. Can't leave him more of these, though. Alright, so we know we get verification we banish this. We don't want to. We want to banish this. And then banish this. I guess we boost this guy out of the C's range. And a slave driver here, probably. Just Savier. Like, we don't want to play our abduction, because we actually want that round three, I think. Did he banish our tactic? He did not. Okay, that's fine then. We don't really want him having another uh, Siri, so we won't kill it. You're up by 23. I think we pass next turn. You don't want to do this into our Colgrim. Maybe we do. He's Vilgaforced already. We want to draw verification next round. We want to draw it, then play Golden Necker. I'm amazed he did not pick Colgrim, by the way. You always pick Colgrim with the Torres, because it negates their deck completely. What did we get back? Got back. I guess a Toxicologist? He gets a card here. He could abduct. Has Echo. He'll banish it, so we don't have to worry about the Echo. I think we play it. I think we play it. Then we could yonk away our own deck. We could Asira our Roach. That's a lot of points, isn't it? Uh, a Roach is gone. We banish the Roach. We could Asira Nickers. It's basically the same thing. Sure. Oh, he has both these in his deck still. Yeah, we'll do this. It's basically like doing it to a uh, roach, just like one less point. There's the coup for three. There's the enslave, sure. Enslave being gone's interesting. We could golden necker. We could. There's a 25% chance it plays Colgrim. It's a bit risky. Because we could get this. I think we do it. We did get Colgrim. Didn't really want him, but it might work out here. Uh, we could kill this, I guess. 
It's good for him. We could kill this, but then it gives him another one. We could kill her, I guess. I think we pick this one for a bunch of points. Strike first and strike hard. Just go for the 2 0. You can't answer both of these. Yeah, GG. If we got the Colgrim, we go for the 2-0. If we didn't, we just use it for pressure here. So that's the deck, like I said. Uh, you can swap something for Abduction. Abduction is... It makes the Colgrim smaller, but it's really good. So, I mean, that one's up to you. It, I think it's useful. I think it's definitely useful. As far as the rest of the deck, it's pretty standard, right? It's like it's just Golden Necker, Colgrim Clog stuff. Uh, the only spots that are a bit like a bit flexible are this um, where was it the abduction spot you can change I like abduction that one's up to you the uh, where is it the false Siri here it's really good against some decks where they can't play tactics but so you can clog them with it and it's really good there because like play it and then you just clog them with that card and it's really good and it's also helpful to play another um, create coded weapons I think we want a boo hurt in the deck though in the four fusion slot. I think we do want one. I think we do want one of these to combo with her because sometimes we don't have the tactic for her. So this would be helpful, I think. The other thing is if you abduct on on uh, on her and then play a boo hurt, she immediately comes back to your board. So that's worth playing this one, I think. And then the other thing is the force we could change around. The Viper Witcher Adepts are quite nice in the deck. Like they're quite nice for engine value because we don't really have any other going first plays. I do like having them. It won't change this quite yet because I need to share the deck code still. But yeah, we'll put in a view hurt. I'm um, and then the fours you can change. You could take out the verification. It's just if you take it out, then you lose two Drake and Borg. So that's uh, up to you if you really want to. It's not great in most of the other situations, although it is a 10 on Gorther, so it's not the worst thing. But yeah, that's the deck. Overall, it's alright. I'm not a biggest fan of uh Colgrim clocking stuff, but it does work pretty well, and you can mess people up with it. So yeah. We'll be doing something with the guy we didn't use in this one eventually. I have some ideas that aren't clogging for him. Uh, unowned guy. This guy. But yeah, so Sandor, we have some ideas with that aren't quite clogging. So we'll be playing him in something else. I've seen him a lot in Tactics. We might be trying that out. But yeah, that's the deck. Overall, I do think it's pretty good. I do think it's pretty good. And yeah, you just got to watch out for matchups, right? Like... um. Onslaught, Golden Necker, they just, your Colgrim's going to be play for, playing for zero because it's either going to get killed by a longship or their deck's going to be at less cards than you because of Magic Compass. So, or like the same cards as you, so you can't actually play it in that matchup, which makes it almost impossible. That one's very difficult. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's just unfortunate that we basically only played Onslaught today, so I'll have to cut a whole bunch of games out because no one wants to watch the same thing over and over. But hopefully you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. That'll be it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more. And you can check out some more videos over here. And thanks for watching.